Hello everyone. Um, this is probably going to be one of the most boring videos I've done. Well, unless you think all the rest of them are boring. But um, here it goes. There's obviously one thing with uh, building the um, night vision kits that I'm putting together at the moment, uh, and that is the actual tools to use. Now, whilst this might seem a bit mundane, it can be um, initially problematic when you first set out because you're quite thinking, well, what size do I need to use? What drill bits, etc., etc. Um, because the majority of the kit I put together um, is literally just drilling holes, uh, nothing special. Just thought I'd just go through what I use to turn um, the little box like this into the uh, the night vision kit. So, obviously, I take one of these. And the first drill or well, hole that I drill is using one of these, uh, and this is a um, a 40 mil drill bit. Oh, sorry, 40 mil hole, a circular hole punch, or whatever you want to call it. Um, you pick these up, um, B and Q. Um, relative, these are quite expensive for what they. I was quite stunned. You've got to buy the mechanism and the part to drill through um, but once you've got that it'll be useful for years to come and for what I'm doing I'm just drilling holes in here so first thing I do is punch a hole through the back and that's to allow me to mount the um, the screen itself uh, what you'll find on the back of the screens if I've got one to hand is you have that recess there you just got to kind of drill it away uh, next in line is these three holes well see the buttons here to make an adjustment and for that I use an 8mm drill bit. Now depending on the version of um, scope or sorry kit that I'm going to build uh, I will also put a power supply uh, jack in the side which there you go just pop it in the side. Um, the other revision that I'm doing at the moment is the one with a, an internal power supply inside at which point I need a switch to be installed. The switch that I get is from Maplin, a nice little rocker switch, which if I have one to hand, uh, which I don't, if I find it, I'll put it in front of us. Um, it takes a 20mm um, hole, and obviously I haven't got a 20mm drill bit to hand, but I do have one of these, it's a cone type drill bit, and this goes right up to 20mm, so all I do, again, same as the power supply, drill a hole straight through, mount the rocker switch in there. Uh, obviously if you've got the power supply version you're not going to need that. So that's that one and then the only other one that I really use is a, a rasp uh, type attachment for my drill. Um, what happens is once you're putting your um, part through for the screen you sometimes just want to make it slightly bigger if need be and then make a slight uh, additional indentation where the cable will come through because unfortunately with these if you wanted to you could probably do it all in one as you can see that the cable is offset so your hole your drill is circular like that and you just need to move it offset you can play around to how you see fit but I like to try and keep these as square as possible when mounting to the box so that covers all the necessary tools I've used so you know you can see that it's not all that many that you need to have in your armory. Obviously the other part that you will need is a drill. Um, you could probably get away with uh, using a hand drill on these but it's, well, it's probably going to be more uh, satisfactory uh, when you're going to be building it but you know just use a standard drill. So there you go, the tools to use, as easy as that. Okay thanks.